morning Manina. Today session is uh, seventh class. Topic is one one function. Page number F fifteen. One one function. If f map a to b is called one one function, if uh, different different elements of a have different of f images in b is called uh, one one function. It is also called uh, injective function. Injective function. For example. Set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and set B has the elements A, B, C, D. So, 1 is related to A, 2 is related to B, 3 is related to C, 4 is related to D. So, here different elements of set A is related to different elements of set B. That's why this is the example for one to one function. Next, some importance, important points about this. How to test given function is a one one function or not. So for example, F map a to B is a one one function, then A1 is not equal to A2. Here A1 comma A2 belongs to A. Set A. So A1 is not equal to A2, then F of A1 is also not equal to F of A2. So, elements of A, uh, A, set A, A1 and A2 are not equal, then images also not equal. And next one is, A1, A2 is belongs to A, then F of A1 is equals to F of A2, then A1 is equal to A2. Images are equal means, then elements also equal. Now, one examples. So, let uh, first example, let F map on to R be defined by F of X is equals to 2X plus 3 verify F is a 1 1 function or not. Let us see. Let us uh, consider, let us consider A1, A2 belongs to R. Then F of A1 is equal to F of A2. That means 2A1 plus 3 is equal to 2A2 plus 3. Here plus 3 plus 3 will be cancelled. Then 2A1 is equal to 2A2. Here 2, 2 cancels. Then we get A1 is equal to A2. So here, f of a1 is equal to f of a2, we get a1 is equal to a2. So therefore, f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 is a 1 1 function or injective function. And next, second example. Let f map or to r be defined by f of x is equal to x, x square. Verify f is a one one function or not. Here, let us consider a one, a two, or belongs to R. Then f of a one is equal to f of a two. So here f of x is equal to x square. Means a one square is equal to a two square. So, we will transfer this square a1 is equal to plus or minus a2. Here, a1 that means a1 is equal to a2 or a1 is equal to minus a2. Here, that's why this is f of x is equal to x square is not 1 1 function.
this example sir uh, we'll see on a graph so first one is uh, f of x is equals to 2x plus 3 so when we substitute in the place of x uh, real numbers f of uh, 0 is equals to 2 into 0 plus 3 that is equal to 2 into 0 0 0 plus 3 that is equal to 3 point is 0 comma 3 and f of 1 is equals to 2 into 1 plus 3 that is equal to 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 point is 1 comma 5 now f of minus 1 is equals to 2 into minus 1 plus 3 that is equal to 2 into minus 1 minus 2 plus 3 that is equal to 1 point is minus 1 comma 1 so when we substitute this uh, points on the graph x axis and y axis 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So now, for this graph, when we draw parallel, when we draw a line parallel to the x-axis, it must be want to coincide at a point, at a point only on the graph. So this is the parallel line to the x-axis. It coincides at a point on the graph. That's why this is one-one function. When this parallel line means that two or more points means that is not a one one function let us see second example second example f of x is equals to x square so f of 1 that is equal to 1 square means 1 f of 0 is equal to 0 square means 0 here point is 1 comma 1 0 comma 0 f of 2 taken means 2 square that is equal to 4 2 comma 4 and f of minus 1 that is equal to minus 1 square that is equal to 1 point is minus 1 comma 1 f of minus 2 that is equal to minus 2 square of 4 point is minus 2 comma 4 here we are taking this point of the graph Here zero, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Minus one, minus two, minus three. Minus one, minus two, minus three. So now zero comma zero must be zero comma zero and one comma one is here. Two comma four, two, four. Minus one comma one. Next point. Next one. Minus two comma four. So when we get these points, uh, we we'll get graph like this. So this is the graph. We will draw parallel line to the x-axis. So this uh, parallel line coincides with graph graph on two times. Two times. So this is. Not a one-one function. So here some important points. Set A has the elements one, two, three, four. Set B has the elements A, B, C, D, E. So A to B function A to B. F map oh, sorry one. is related to a here two is related to c three is related to b and 
4 is related to E. Next one, second item. Set A and set B. Set A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4. A, B, C, D. So, one is related to function from A to B. One is related to A, two is related to B, three is related to C, four is related to D. And third example. Set A and set B. Elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, here A, D, C. One is related to A, two is related to C and three is related to B. And third, fourth one. Set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B has the elements A, B, C, D, E. Now, two is, one is related to A, at the same time, one is related to B. This is the function, F map, F is, F. Next, two is, three is related, two is related to C. Three is related to D. Four is related to E. So, in first, in first and second, so those are two, two functions are one one functions. This is a not one one function because here in the set A one element is a lived here. In set this one, fourth one also not one one function because in the definition we are discussed every element of different elements of A is a, have related to different elements of B. But here one is related to two elements of in the set B. That's why this is a not a one one function and this one is also not a one one function. It is a one one function and this one also one one function. So from the first figure Number of elements in set A, number of elements in set A is 4. Number of elements in set B is 5. At the same time, in second example, number of elements in set A is 4. Number of elements in set B is 4. So, now we have to find out the number of Relations between in a one one functions number of one one functions in given function A is we have to find out n b p n a we observe here n of a number of elements of set a is less than or equal to number of elements in b always number of elements in set A is less than or equal to less than or equal to number of elements in B. So when uh, we have to we want to find out number of one one functions from A to B means uh, n of B T n of A is the formula. So this is the about one one function. Thank you for watching.